Once you're ready to steal somebody else's husband, yours, <laughs> yours, <laughs> sweetie me again, sweetie me again. Record that. Um, then also, who else do we have? Um, there's a new girl named Ange and Angela, Angela Oakley. Um, now I don't know Angela, but I hear her husband is everything. I hear her husband is everything. I hear her husband is everything. And y'all can even say he's too old for her because Portia is in the midst of divorcing her grandfather. So, nah. Okay, this is a, the perfect age range for Portia right here. I just feel like, you know, even though you may not be married, it's just some things are just common sense of how to behave around a married couple. Mm -hmm. And for me, I don't even like to stand and look someone's husband eye to eye and carry on more than a three-minute conversation. Mm -hmm. So when she, we go to exchange telephone numbers, like I was telling somebody the other day, every type of communication that you have with this couple needs to go through the wife. Like, and you should know that at some point in your life. And if you overstep that boundary, then your intentions were wrong from the beginning. Portia wrote a coloring book about wanting to be R. Kelly's main girl, despite him having a wife, leaving a woman that was screaming to be let out of R. Kelly's sex cult. She fantasized about her ex-husband being her man when he was in a public relationship with his baby mother. Then she's engaged to a dude who's soon to be ex-wife was her co-worker. She met both of them on the show at the same time and started an affair with him. So yeah, journalists are going to ask basic questions and not stroke your ego. Damn. Mm -mm, mm -mm, I'm sorry. I work for Dish Nation. I am in the world of journalism. So my uh, word needs to be... Journalism is... <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're downplaying my job? This word right here is killing me. What's this? Reciprocation? Reciprocation? Let me see, Portia. It's a big, it's, it's, Reprocity? It's Reprocity. Well, no, uh-uh, no. Nope, nope. Look at it. Come look at it. Come look at it. Hold on. Give me a minute. <laughs> Reciprocity. To gain so Reciprocity. Heart mess, child. I would like Portia to spell scepter. So. <laughs> it's almost hurtful to me to watch her be so dumb. Somebody wrote a death on 265 days a year. What is wrong with that? <laughs> Portia Williams coming back to Real Housewives of Atlanta? That's false. But Portia Gavadia is in the building. <laughs> See y'all. Well, I guess Portia Williams is coming back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta because but Portia Gavadia filed for divorce, child. And we don't even know if that's truly her real name because you all know I've been reporting about it that the man re-entered this country after being deported due to his criminal past under a fake name and fake identity. Got his paperwork on that fake identity and then decided to file for a citizenship in this country on that fake identity. And that's how he was caught. For those of you who missed that video, I have linked that video in the description below. If you want more information on Portia filing for divorce, I have linked that video in the description below. Now let's get into the current topic. What's up my Vina loves? It's Miss Vina D coming to you all from Vina Timmer News. When Portia was on Amazon Live a few days ago, she said this about one of the newbies' husband, which you all just recently saw a part of my intro, but I'm going to repeat it for you so that the next part is going to make sense and I have to add context. Um, then also, who else do we have? Um, there's a new girl named Ange and Angela, Angela Oakley. Um, now, I don't know Angela, but I hear her husband is everything. I hear her husband is everything. I hear her husband is everything. I
And y'all can even say he's too old for her because Portia is in the midst of divorcing her grandfather. So, nah. Okay, this is a, the perfect age range for Portia right here. Um, I hear that she is fabulous. She is beautiful. I saw her on a phone call. So, that newbie did a Q&A. And when they asked her, Team Simon or Portia, she responded, Portia. Of course, she's going to say Portia. She's new. She's getting to know the cast. Simon is not on the show. Simon is not cutting her check. She will be dumb to not say Portia. Also, to prove that you are secure in your marriage and in your relationship, you are not going to let anyone see you sweat, okay? You know your man. You trust your man. You know the comments that people are making. It's just fun shade and people are joking around. You are not out here sweating and believing that your husband is going to leave you for a Portia Williams, okay? You are accepting all of this as a joke and moving along. So, of course, you're going to say Portia. Yeah, Fallon was in Portia too. Absolutely. I will never forget that Instagram live where someone wrote a comment about Kenya, if she was looking for to meet Kenya, whatever. They just wrote Kenya name and whatever mess that Portia and whoever else had fed her was already in her head. And when I tell you, Fallon face looked like she just smelled something terrible. She had this thing look because someone said Kenya Moore name or wrote Kenya Moore name in a comment section. And then when someone wrote Portia and you know her face lit up and you could have you could have lit up an entire stadium from her reaction. Oh, she couldn't stop talking about how amazing Portia was and she was excited and she couldn't wait. Mm. Mm -mm. So, my point is, yep, Fallon too was Team Portia. But yes, the difference. Your partner has to be a willing participant. It doesn't matter how much a woman or a man flirt, want to be disrespectful, cross lines, and all of that. If the other party is not interested, they will shut that ish down. And clearly, for Fallon, yeah, we know the story. <laughs> we don't have to go there. But to me, nothing to see here for now. She did do a Q&A. Are you getting along with the girls? And then she dropped some emojis. How has meeting or hanging out with the other RHA ladies been? It's been interesting. Who do you want to be close to in RHA season 16? She responded, great question. My answer was surprised. What do you think you will bring to this season of RHA? A funky good time. So most of you are aware at this point that this whole situation right here with Shamia revealing her car for her birthday led to this big deal with Portia husband leaving this comment, you know, shading Portia in the process to Portia clapping back to Simon coming back and clapping back at Portia. Then Kenya joining the conversation like, uh-uh, Shamia is not the only one. I too own the same car. And Portia knowing that she's still in the man house, that means she's going to have access to everything in the house. I mean, it's the marital home and all of that. The car is obviously there. So Portia went ahead and got on Instagram live showing off the car that is still here. I still got it. You know, Simon's a liar. He didn't take my car away. Yes, it was a gift, but I still have my car. Day. Mm-hmm. Just gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Oh, you want me to come pick you up? Okay, I'm coming to pick you up in the street. And when Portia and Kenya reunited, putting double R queens in the action wasn't the only shade okay they took pictures of the both of them standing side by side their cars showing simon that no shamia isn't the only one that owned that car we own it and kenya is like i did it on my own okay and portia is like thank you for the gift and the whole time the lady that simon is talking to and portia best friend is like nope I'm not getting in it because her husband is still friends with Simon. And even though she should have been the one jumping in to defend her friend and show off her car, she was like, absolutely not. I am staying out of it. Kenya and Portia, y'all got it, okay? 
the both of you are trying to rekindle whatever it is you're rekindling go ahead and do your thing i'm staying out of it while someone with a peach is staying out of peach people business another person that got their peach snatch decided to insert herself and to be fair i don't have a peach and i give my opinion all the time okay so even though she no longer have a peach she was there for over a decade so let's listen to what miserable milo had to say the rose royce anymore because i had it and someone went and copied it and tried to bring it on the show to show them they had it but i got something else that they don't they haven't seen yet no i don't i'm not in the rose royce crew i'm in the modern crew <laughs> definitely team simon i've known simon for years he used to be my neighbor um i am i am team simon and guess what huge fan of Real Housewives of Atlanta. I can't wait to watch this season. Y'all do not know I'm going to be commentating the whole every Sunday. Every Sunday I'm going to be on there telling y'all what I think. Because I mean that's like a part of me. That's like my family. So just because I'm not on this season does not mean I'm going to say the hell with Bravo. No. I will be tuned in every Sunday and I will be giving y'all my feedback every Sunday. So stay tuned. Okay? But definitely Team Simon over Portia. Definitely. Yes. Team Simon, I mean, I've known him first, but I did not, I did not get involved when he was married. I just told him we could not be friends because I knew she was upset about me not taking up for her for a f***ing bolo and all that stuff. So it is what it is, but definitely team him. And I've known Simon since his ex-wife, Marsha, and I'm team Marsha as well. So they were my neighbors for years at Bottle Bar when Simon owned Bottle Bar years ago. So that's who definitely I am. Girl, you know that is fat, get it sexy. So that's it, I love you guys, love you. Stop thinking that when one door closes, um, this is the end of the world, it really is not. God just has something else planned for you, okay? He does, you have to tr trust the process. Y'all really have to trust the process. We'd be so mad. Oh, I want this. It ain't what you want. It's what the man up above has planned for you. And once you realize that, the world will be a better place. The nephews are good. They've been working all day. Could you say hi to them? She lost. They're my babies. Michael, hi. I love you. Can I get a love sign? <laughs> William, can I get a love sign? <laughs> being delusional and thinking anyone is purchasing a vehicle because of her child so as you can see nothing's changed <laughs> as it relates to Molly she is still delusional but anyways there you have it I'm gonna leave you there Simon and Portia are still going back and forth on social media it's a hot mess but for now I'm gonna leave it about the ladies I'm wishing all of you well and take care thank you all for your love and support if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're ready and post it. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.